So you're able to see it. Okay, um, let's continue with the session about how to transform your legacy code using ABAP Cloud and Clean Up. Clean ABAP, let's take a short look at the agenda. I will start with explaining how you can transform your existing code after S4HANA system conversion, and we will take a look at different options which are in place for your legacy code. Um, with a special focus uh, on renovation of the custom code into the direction of ABAP Cloud and also how to clean your code by applying the uh, clean ABAP principles to it. So for S4HANA uh, private cloud and on previous landscapes after the system conversion, we also propose to use ABAP Cloud development model as far as possible to uh, reduce upgrades efforts, to improve the testability efforts uh, with regard to your custom code, and also to move actually your systems closer into the direction of the clean code. But how to do it in this S4HANA private cloud and on-premise landscapes? Because after you convert your existing ERP system to S4HANA, you end up with a lot of legacy code which you have developed since years in these landscapes. How to develop the new above cloud ready uh, code and also how to maintain existing legacy code because you will, you will have the challenge that you will need probably a change in the DIN Pro application or will, you will need probably to change to use the unreleased API and so on. How to manage coexistence of the new code which will be developed hopefully with above cloud development model and existing code legacy code and therefore for this for these landscapes we propose to work with so-called 3t extensibility model this is the picture which is actually uh, meanwhile very famous from the above extensibility guide and i will just short recap on it our uh, uh, proposal is to work with uh, this 3T extensibility model and to set up as, as following. Tier 1 is, uh, should be all your new developments with above cloud development model. You can set up as a separate software component and set up the language version to above for cloud development and develop their cloud ready. This is actually default for all your new developments, either be it on stack on, in S4HANA or uh, side by side on SAP Business Technology Platform. If you need to use the uh, API, which is not yet released by SAP, not yet available publicly, you can write your own custom wrapper in order to wrap unreleased functionality and make it available in tier one. This is so-called tier two, which serves here as extension to tier one. And um, also developed with above cloud development rules uh, besides the wrapped unreleased SAP objects. And uh, once SAP release the corresponding uh, functionality, you can retire the uh, custom wrapper. So this is also uh, above cloud ready development here. And uh, of course, you have a lot of classic ABAP extensions in your landscapes, which were developed with classic extensibility methods and uh, they also exist and from time to time you need also to change them and therefore um, the objective should be to reduce the amount of these classic developments and um, to go into direction of above cloud as far as possible so which options exist for your classic above developments after the system conversion First, a uh, very important option is to retire unused code. So use uh, usage data, collect usage data for your code, retire your unused uh, code, and the tools for that should be uh, above call monitor and a CUCG transaction. You can collect usage data directly in productive system and then remove it from the system. Use also the new capabilities of S4HANA instead of your custom extension and uh, try to evaluate available partner solutions, for example, instead of uh, using unused code. So retire unused code. The next option, what you will need to do, at least you will need to adapt your existing code after the system conversion to S4HANA uh, simplifications. 
For this purpose, you can use custom code migration app for analysis and ABAP development tools for adaptation in order to adapt your existing code to the simplifications of S4HANA. And the next step would be to go into the direction of ABAP Cloud, where you can either renovate your existing code and apply ABAP Cloud development principles or innovate your existing code, meaning apply innovative solutions and capabilities which are available on S4HANA or as side-by-side -side services on BTP. And this is actually in focus of the uh, today's session. How you renovate custom code in S4HANA? Our proposal to go to the direction of ABAP Cloud in S4HANA 2022 and plus, so also high release system, is uh, uh, as following. You can check your existing code for ABAP Cloud readiness. The tool of choice is ABAP development tools in Eclipse and uh, ABAP uh, test cockpit with ABAP Cloud readiness check variant, which you can run over your code. And then you can uh, adapt your code for ABAP Cloud. You will get support in ABAP development tools for Eclipse. Uh, you will get the quick fixes there, which will allow you to uh, adapt your code to the usage for of ABAP for cloud development language version, and also the usage of released objects. The good thing is about 2022 as for HANA system and plus, meaning 2023, is that you will get, after the ABAP test cockpit check, the successor information about the released API, which to use directly in ATC results. So this success information can be used to adapt your custom code objects. And if you are missing this success information, as already said, you can implement your own wrapper. And here on the slide, you see uh, the links to the um, uh, ABAP Cloud API enablement guide, which we propose uh, can be used as assistance for you how to write a custom wrapper or also develop a tutorial step by step. And uh, if you are still missing released APIs and don't want to use uh, to write your own custom wrapper, you can uh, request missing API at uh, SAP Influence campaign. So let's uh, take a look uh, directly in the system how it can be done. I have here a, a class which I would like to adapt for ABAP Cloud. And uh, I will run ABAP test cockpit over it as proposed with ABAP cloud readiness check variant. So ABAP test cockpit is running. And now you will get results and see that there are uh, four errors which uh, apply to the syntax error in restricted language scope. So there are some statements used which are not allowed in above cloud scope. And there is also usage of API that will not be released. As I already said, you have this here successor information provided directly in ATC results. So here for this API, I access in my source code object directly the table uh, boot 000 and the direct access to the table is not permitted in terms of above cloud instead of that the cds entity i business partner must be used so how i will proceed to with correction of all of these errors you see here this yellow bulb it signalizes that for these findings there are quick fixes available therefore i will just um, select the whole list with the findings and apply the uh, mass enabled quick fixes via the recommended quick fixes wizard. So here you see that these findings can be fixed with the quick fixes. I can choose also post-processing steps. I would like to activate the changed objects after applying the quick fixes and recheck them with ATC again. Just go to the next screen. And here you will see uh, which changes the quick fix will apply to your code here. For example, instead of using refresh statement, clear statement will be used. Or instead of move operator, the assignment operator uh, should be used and so on. If I agree to the quick fixes proposal, I just press finish button. The quick fixes will be applied to the source code. And since I have chosen the pre-processing steps, uh, post-processing steps, the source code will be changed 
stored, activated, and above this cockpit runs. And you see that there is only one remaining finding about the usage of API that will not be released. So I need to replace direct access to the table with the CDS UI business partner. Okay, so here I also already prepared uh, the solution beforehand. I can just uh, pick up this part of the code and replace uh, this select with access to iBusiness Partner CDS view. Having done this, just save the source, activate it, and recheck it again with ATC. And after we will see the ATC result, uh, we'll find out there are no findings. So instead of access to the table, I have used access to CDS view. Everything is okay. I just fixed this source code. So this is uh, how you adapt your existing code to above cloud. And uh, as you're doing that, you will get also support in above development tools for this. For example, I can here, navigate directly to the table and in the properties of the table what i will see here i will check it api state so the table is not uh, released for the free access direct access instead of this uh, the ibusiness partner must be used if i navigate now to ibusiness partner cds view and check its api state we will see that uh, this object is released for uh, above cloud usage. So you can use properties view in order to check um, if the object is released. You can also search for released objects. For example, I can search here with ABAP search for APIs, um, which are released for use in cloud development, and I will be interested in all CDS views, for example, in the system. So, and what you will see here, these uh, CDS views are released uh, in the system for ABAP cloud. So you can use ABAP search in order uh, to find out uh, which uh, APIs, uh, which objects are released. You can search in the system directly. What else you can do, you can go to the properties view of the object and in its general um, properties, you can just switch the language version. For example, this object is now in standard ABAP. I will just uh, select ABAP for cloud development for this class. And what we'll see here, we'll get syntax errors syntax errors directly here where direct access for example here to the table happens and uh, the syntax error also tells you that there is success information which cds entity uh, must be used here what else you can do you can also display uh, all released objects in the system you can work with so-called uh, virtual tree of uh, project explorer and above development tools in Eclipse, and it looks like this. I have configured this released object tree as view on the repository, which uses the property filter used in cloud development structures by the component and uh, object types. And here, for example, you see all the uh, application components in the system. And if I navigate here, some Beispiel deep into materials management, purchasing, for example, purchase requisitions, and here uh, you can see, for example, this local API, this uh, RAP API is uh, released for usage with above cloud or, the here, or here under enhancements. You will see here, there are here enhancements, sports, bodies, which are released also for use with above cloud. So you can also work with so-called uh, virtual tree, virtual trees. 
So during adaptation of your code, uh, renovation with above cloud, you get this support in above development tools for Eclipse. You can switch the language version on single object level. You can switch it for the whole component, for the whole uh, package, for example. And uh, you can use uh, virtual trees in Project Explorer, set up your own trees and see, for example, which objects are released in the system. You can work with the properties views to see if the object is released or not, and if there is any success information. And also you can, of course, use the uh, above search uh, in order to search uh, for uh, released objects, for example, and uh, make use of different uh, property filters. What to do if you have um, the system which is uh, on lower release as 2022 and still you want to know how far is your custom code from above cloud, how to find out that. In the lower releases, we don't have success information directly in the system provided. And therefore, um, for analysis of such systems, we will need to use custom code migration app and the custom code migration app also needs the success information, which will be provided uh, by so-called cloudification repository. Cloudification repository is the repository on the GitHub which provides the success information from the uh, application stack of uh, S4HANA for released APIs, which will be used by a uh, custom code migration app for the analysis of your system. How it works, um, what you will need to do, you will need just, uh, I will shortly demonstrate how it works. Uh, for this, um, you will need to adapt the uh, custom code analysis variant uh, above you will need to uh, um, copy the above cloud readiness check variant. And in this check variant, you will need to uncheck the usage of released APIs and check usage of released API via cloudification repository. And here in the value of this check, you need to provide the uh, corresponding um, information, corresponding link uh, to the uh, uh, cloudification repository. And here, this is how this cloudification um, repository looks like. This is on the GitHub. Here are the, all the released objects. And under the source, you have access to different cloudification repositories which are provided per release. And uh, you can, for example, just navigate to it. And uh, if I'm interested, just, just display the content of the cloudification repository. And uh, for example, I'm interested, which is a successor for the table conf. I can just look up here. And here you see uh, the table conf and which successor should be used in order here to access the table of this CDS view should be used. So this information will be also used um, with custom code migration app. In the custom code migration app, you see we create custom code analysis project over uh, your system and just uh, use this check variant, which we have just seen in the above development tools for Eclipse, and um, execute the custom code analysis over the system. So this is my updated check variant, where I provided the check via cloudification repository. And uh, here, uh, the uh, above test cockpit run was already executed. Here, the number of the findings. And if I here navigate to the number of the findings, what uh, we will see here, my source code was checked. And here I can just sort the findings via check with cloudification repository. And here, if I examine details, for example, of this finding where the table conf also gets accessed. 
Here, you will get the success information also in the details. So the usage of API, which will not be released, table conf is not permitted to be accessed directly. Instead of this, CDS, you must be used. So if we navigate also directly to the source code, you see here, this is direct access to the conf table and must be replaced. So this is how you work. Um, with the systems on lower release to detect how far is your custom code from the above cloud. You use custom code migration app, you adapt the um, existing above cloud readiness check variant and just use cloudification repository to check your source code for compliance with above cloud. How to renovate your custom code on uh, SAP BTP? Especially for replatforming projects, we offer in the custom code migration app also so-called dependency analysis with SAP standard. We have found out that technically the current show stoppers for the custom code transformation to BTP are the calls to SAP application tables and are the calls to SAP application logic. And these calls are counted and displayed in the corresponding dashboards in the dependency analysis and you can see uh, how Tightly is your custom code uh, coupled with SAP standard if you use uh, these dependency analysis. This should provide you initial help how to proceed uh, with um, custom code uh, migration to BTP. Is it tightly coupled solution or not tightly coupled? Is it suitable for migration to BTP or not? For the custom code analysis for SAP BTP above environment uh, migration, you will also use custom code migration app and uh, you will check your custom code for cloud. In this case, you don't, uh, you execute uh, the uh, dedicated project in a custom code migration app for BTP above environment, and it will check for usage of unsupported technologies, use it of not released objects from the other platform and compatibilities with above cloud uh, language version and so on. And we also offer the quick fixes for adaptation uh, in above development tools for Eclipse. So this is how you migrate the code. If you made the decision to migrate uh, the extension to BTP above environment for side-by-side -side approach, uh, you analyze it with the custom code migration app, which ideally running in BTP above environment and connects to your on-premise system via Cloud Connect and RFC. And then you can use a Git plugin on your on-premise system in order to push the code to the external Git repository and then pull that code using a Git plugin in the ABAP cloud system and uh, finally adapt it for a, a BTP ABAP environment. And as I already said, we also offer the quick fixes for uh, adaptation to BTP ABAP environment. The same procedure, use ABAP development tools for Eclipse. You run cloud readiness check variant and adapt the code using the quick fixes. And the remain part you will need uh, after applying the quick fixes to use uh, to apply manually. Further, after adaptation of your code for BTP ABAP environment, you can, of course, start developing in side-by-side -side approach using innovative technologies of ABAP cloud development model, using ABAP cloud uh, enabled language version, RESTful application programming model, and so on, and to develop your solution in side-by-side -side mode. Okay, how to innovate custom code if you want to uh, develop it using completely new principles, completely new capabilities of S4HANA? Uh, first, you need to follow the main principles of development with ABAP cloud development model, use only released APIs for ABAP platform and S4HANA. Uh, this usage of released APIs will be checked by ABAP compiler if you develop your code in tier one using ABAP for cloud development language version. And the custom APIs will be checked by ITC checks. Uh, if you develop custom wrappers for not released APIs, use only released extension points, bodies, wrap with Fiori elements, uh, and uh, use CDAs, MDPs, ABAP SQL, ABAP development tools at Eclipse as AD, and uh, ABAP test cockpit to adapt ABAP cloud for your landscapes. So this is the main principles of development with ABAP Cloud development model. And for development with ABAP Cloud in this three-tier landscape where you have also your legacy code, we propose to set up central ABAP test cockpit for, to adopt ABAP Cloud. This central ABAP test cockpit, you need to connect remotely to existing development systems in your landscape. 
and uh, use it during development and during transport release. And also we propose to work with the ATC check variant above cloud development default and add to this check variant also the checks from cloud readiness category because uh, cloud readiness checks are necessary because you will need also to develop some extensions for your classic legacy developments which you cannot develop uh, with above cloud, like for example, agent didn't profile or using not released APIs. All these kinds of legacy developments need will also be checked with um, ATC checks. And since you start uh, to develop uh, not on brand new system, but the system with legacy code, uh, we propose to execute uh, cloud readiness checks uh, as initial step on your system and take the uh, findings of a BAP test cockpit check run into baseline. In this sense, uh, the legacy the findings in your legacy code will remain in the baseline and uh, your developers will not be stopped with these findings during their developments, be it in tier one, tier two or in tier three in legacy code. And if you need really some developments in legacy code, like for example, extending GINPRO application, you will propose to work with ATC exemptions. So just a request an exemption if you need to implement legacy technology. Like for example, if you need to use unreleased SAP object like function module or data element, you can request exemption if you need to implement uh, UI technology uh, which is not supported in above cloud like Jinfra or for example, use not released body. And after you have uh, you develop with above development uh, cloud development model and work with exemptions, you can also use an ATC exemption browser, which lists all the exemptions available in the system, and you will see how far is your system actually from the clean core, how far, um, how how many of uh, legacy developments still are needed, how many exemptions exist there. So this was um, about how you transform your code using ABAP Cloud. Now let's take a look how you can clean your ABAP, uh, your ABAP code using clean ABAP principles. Why actually clean up, clean ABAP? Uh, nowadays, every um, developer knows this book from Robert Martin, Clean Code. This is about how to write a readable, testable, and maintainable code. And SAP, motivated by these uh, clean code principles, decided also to apply them to ABAP. But as you know, in ABAP, you not only write the source code, but you also use data dictionary, you use CDS modeling, and so on. And this is far beyond of just using uh, language constructs. And therefore, uh, the whole clean code uh, initiative in the area of ABAP revolves pretty much around of improving the readability of ABAP code. Uh, because um, the ABAP developer actually spends more time with reading the code as writing the code. Um, you need to read different types of codes, like, for example, your own code, SAP standard code, partner code, or probably also customer code if you're doing support tasks, for example. And in this case, um, you uh, need um, to understand the whole type of codes. And if they are unique representation of all these types codes, of codes, uh, go there, then it would ease the life of a web developer, it would save the reading and understanding effort. Also, of course, you need to um, keep in mind that ABAP has evolved with backup, uh, backward compatibility in mind since years. There are a lot of legacy developments in traditional ERP landscapes, and therefore it would be difficult to apply clean code principles for all these developments. But surely for new modern developments, you can apply uh, about clean code principles. Here is also the link the, uh, to uh, introduction to clean ABAP, which uh, you can check. And let's start with this picture about the clean ABAP uh, interplay of the clean ABAP initiative, clean ABAP uh, style guide and tools available here. Uh, this picture, this outer circle represents clean ABAP, everything what you can do around your core to make it clean. 
The second circle describes circle. This is the place for clean above style guide, which represents the set of the rules which can be applied uh, for uh, adherence to clean above for your code. The next circle is smaller circle, check circle, which uh, signalizes which tools exist, uh, code pal for ABAP, to uh, check uh, your code for uh, clean ABAP. And this check circle is smaller as the scribe circle because uh, certainly not every rule can be checked easily. For example, um, if you use semantically descriptive names as variable names, it, it cannot be checked easily. And finally, this automate circle is the smallest circle which uh, represents the automation capabilities like code pal quick fixes and uh, above cleaner tool, which show how to adapt your code automatically to the issues detected by the clean ABAP checks. And now, after the basic understanding is gained, let's take a look at each circle in detail. Describe circle is about clean ABAP style guide. Clean ABAP style guide is open source code, uh, open source project uh, led by SAP on GitHub. This project uh, is very lively project. There are a lot of issues and discussions around it, and this is the central place for all agreed rules to make your ABAP code clean. And there is also sophisticated process behind this initiative and uh, on aligning and on deciding which rules will become part of the clean ABAP style guide. And uh, of course, you as ABAP developer is also very welcome to contribute this to this process. And here is also the link to the general uh, contribution process to the SAP style guides and also to the governance. The second circle, check circle, how to check uh, your code for the adherence to the clean ABAP. There is, there is a set of ABAP test cockpit checks to control the usage of clean ABAP. And these uh, checks are provided by two open source projects on GitHub, which are also led by SAP and managed by SAP ABAP test cockpit team. There are classic code PAL for ABAP checks for SAP basis releases greater than 740 SP08. These checks are not remote enabled and can be used directly locally in the system. And there is also the cloud edition of code pal for ABAP checks. These uh, checks are cloud ready, uh, meaning they can be used in SAP BTP ABAP environment. Beyond that, they are also remote enabled and can be used in remote ATC scenarios. And also for many checks, the quick fixes are provided for uh, uh, many clean ABAP rules. The checks are integrated via NTC in ABAP development tools for Eclipse. You just uh, can pull the Git repository with these uh, code pal checks into your system. And here you are, you can uh, check uh, the code with code pal checks. And finally, automate circle, the smallest one. Uh, this is the place for the automation tools and the capabilities which uh, automate your adaptation uh, to uh, clean ABAP. And um, there are ABAP Cleaner and Copact, uh, Code Pal Quick Fixes there. ABAP Cleaner has actually the same objective as Code Pal for ABAP, just uh, um, ensure the adherence of your code to the clean ABAP with the only difference that uh, Code Pal for ABAP checks uh, should be actually executed on your existing code. And uh, ABAP cleaner can be executed uh, during writing the code. So directly, ACA pretty print approach, as you write the code, you can correct it into the direction of clean ABAP using ABAP cleaner. ABAP cleaner provides uh, more than 60 plus uh, clean up rules to automate adaptation of your ABAP code to clean ABAP at only one keystroke, control F F4. And you can also configure the cleanup rules as they are needed for your team. This is also open source project led by SAP on GitHub. And there is uh, the Eclipse plugin, which can be installed for your ABAP development tools to Eclipse to, to use it. The code pal quick fixes uh, also provide automation of adaptation of your code to clean ABAP rules. They are available in ABAP development tools for Eclipse as single quick fixes and also as mass enabled quick fixes. And now, let me show you also the short demo how it works. With regard um, to the code pal for ABAP, I have here, for example, 
SAP BTP ABAP environment system where I have this, um, just need to log in, where I have this um, code pal checks there. So as I already said, uh, this is the Git repository, which you can just pull into a system, what we have, I have done for my BTP ABAP environment system. And if I do it, this is the separate uh, namespace where the checks are located, the check objects are located, and uh, the implementation. So here, for example, um, you can take a look at the CodePal check variant, CodePal full how it looks like, which checks will be executed uh, over your code. So here, under the code pal category, you have all the available checks. And here, uh, uh, if you pull this Git repository to your system, you will find also the text objects, which you can use to uh, try out the code pal checks. Just um, run above test cockpit uh, over these test objects and use this code pal full check variant. So, above test cockpit is running and checking the test objects for clean ABAP. Just take some time before we get the Abaptist cockpit result. Okay, let's. Check again. Oh, actually, don't know why it doesn't work. Let's try another system, probably. So uh, it's very pity that now live demo doesn't work. I actually wanted to show you how the checks work and how to apply the quick fixes. I'm very sorry, don't know why, uh, but now let me show you um, about cleaner. Let me show you about cleaner. For the sake of the time, So you can apply ABAP cleaner to the source code. Uh, you can apply it uh, to one source code line or to this whole section of the source code. Here, for example, I can select uh, the source code section and um, Apply a Bob Cleaner there, just
So you can clean up with automated above cleaner uh, any part of the section uh, in the source code, or you can use interactive above cleaner. If you go now to interactive above cleaner, you have here uh, the um, source code view, how the source code looks like and how it will look like after applying the above cleaner. And uh, here you have uh, the information about the rules in the current section. For example, I can select the section and you will see which uh, rules are used actually uh, to clean your code in this uh, section. So you can uh, choose any section of the code. You can choose what to highlight if you prefer not uh, to highlight uh, inner space changes, and then changes and so on. You can just uh, leave text and line changes. For example, you can um, define the scope of above cleanup. For example, uh, the scope of cleanup uh, by default is current methods, or you can use also the class or the or entire source code document and so on. And here under configuration, you can configure the profile. We go here. There are two diff profiles. There is a central profile with rules which are uh, restricted uh, and which are given by the clean ABAP style guide. And the default profile contains additionally the rules which are provided by ABAP cleaner. So you have here uh, different rules uh, with regard to using of empty lines, uh, with regard to using of spaces. There are options for a rule, your description for a rule, so you can change these options. You can um, see the description. You can see if this um, rule is supposed, is part of the clean above style guide or additionally of above cleaner. And you can here, for example, um, display the difference. For example, difference of the default profile to essential profile here in green as displayed which rules additionally are used in above cleaner beyond uh, of uh, uh, default rules which are provided with clean above style guide. So, and here you can adjust uh, your profile. You can pick up the rules uh, which, which you want to use. You can create your own profile and, and store it. And also what is possible, uh, you can share the profile. You can define different profile folders. For example, if you want to use certain clean above cleaner rules and share these above cleaner rules uh, across your team. You can just, uh, if you're, for example, a leading developer, define the set of the rules for above cleaner, export them as a profile and distribute it across your developers so that they can use these uh, all rules. So you have here different profiles, default uh, via style guide for uh, clean ABAP or uh, plus uh, the rules of above cleaner or essential only from the style guide and you can configure the rules as you want you can save this profile and then uh, just uh, use it so uh, if you work with this interactive mode with above cleaner you can uh, every time see which rules get applied and to which section you can just configure it here, the section and choose, pick up the rules or block the rules, for example, here, just turn them off and then apply them to the uh, certain code section. If you are starting to work with above cleaner, the proposal would be to start to work with um, interactive above cleaner. And uh, alternatively, you can just apply above cleaner to the whole source code, for example, Select it, and if you are uh, sure that above cleaner will do uh, good things, then you just clean up with automated above cleaner per keystroke control for so, and the code will be cleaned according to this uh, default profile. So, um, this was introduction to uh, above cleaner to, and code pal. I'm very sorry that I was not able to demonstrate the demo about uh, the code pal 
checks and code pal quick fixes, but actually this is straightforward. You execute ATC code uh, checks and uh, with code pal um, check variant, and then you apply the quick fixes, which are there, for example, for usage of chain declarations or unused variables and, and, and so on. Okay, having said that, uh, more information is provided in ABAP testing and analysis community to all the topics, custom code adaptation to ABAP cloud and uh, uh, with regard to ABAP tools uh, for clean ABAP and so on, and I highly recommend to visit it. And now I think we are over the time. I need to stop to leave uh, the space also for the But it's session. almost perfect in time, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Very sorry about the live demo. I was not sure why, why it didn't work. That's the problem with live demos. Sometimes they don't work because of, the, let's say it was a Thomas fault. Thomas was on the system and he changed something. <laughs> Thomas Biedler. We all know him. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you very much.